In this video, we're going to be using subtraction questions um, and we're going to be finding the missing digit. This will help build our understanding and confidence with subtraction, which I'm really hoping to achieve in your grade six year. So my first thought is blank take away six equals six. Well, that seems weird, but let's think. This is kind of algebraic as well. What minus six equals six? If you're having a really hard time with that on the side, just ask yourself, okay, well, what's six plus six? 12. So therefore, 12 minus six equals six. But Miss Cooper, we cannot write 12 there. That's, that's not correct. You are correct in thinking that. So instead of writing 12 here, we're going to write two because we are probably going to have to think okay if you sort of think about how you solve the question two take away six you can't do red flag that's when we'd have to borrow from the 90 or the nine that'd become eight and we'd borrow a 10 from there to make that to a 12 so then 12 minus six equals six and let's check the rest of the question makes sense eight or 80 minus four or 40, eight minus four is four, six minus four is two, boom. So the only digit that's missing is that two. Same concept, but a few more missing digits this time. So we'll go through the question. Four take away two is two. Eight minus what equals six? Hoping in your brains you can think eight minus two equals six, pretty straightforward. Oh, this is a nice easy one as well. It's just the answer. Six take away nothing equals six. Now a little bit of a reverse thinking. What take away five equals three? If you're really stuck, go five plus three down here equals eight. Okay, so eight minus five, this is that fact family thing, is three. So our answer up here must be eight. Eight minus five is three, nine minus four is five. Not too bad. And last example, well again, more uh, of the blanks. First column, starting always with the ones, what take away nine equals four? A little tricky to wrap your brain around. I'm thinking nine plus four is 13. Can't write 13 in here, but I must be writing a three. Now this is pretty tricky because there's no number over here, but I know I must have cross this number out and borrowed and that's going to go down. So let's keep that in mind. We had to have borrowed from here in order to make that 13 minus 9 is 4. So when we think about this, what minus 6 equals 2? My first thought is 8, but it must have ended up being 8 after we took one away after we borrowed from it. So, cause eight minus six equals two. So what was it before we borrowed one? Well, add one on, eight plus one is nine. So let's just go through that again. We had three here, three minus nine we couldn't do. So we borrowed from next door, which was a nine. The nine became an eight and the three we changed to be 13. It gave us it's one of its tens. 13 minus 9 is 4. 8 minus 6 is 2. Yeah, we're on a roll. Okay, 0 take away 2. We can't do that. So let's go next door. Ah, there's nothing next door. So I'm going to cross that one out. This is kind of a tricky one. And we have to go over here. So again, we don't know what this was, but we borrowed one from it, making that a 10 which still doesn't help us over here. So we're gonna borrow from that, make that a nine, and this becomes a 10. Now we're getting somewhere. 10 minus two is eight. And then we have nine minus nine is zero. Now, what minus two is five. I'm hoping you know two and five makes seven, so it must be seven up here. Seven minus two is five. But what was it before we borrowed? One higher, it must have been eight. 
That was tricky. Let's just review that one more time, make sure it makes sense. Three minus nine, we can't do. Borrowed from the nine, the 90 became an eight or an 80. The three, we added 10 to it, so 13. 13 minus nine is four. Eight minus six is two. Zero minus two, we couldn't do, so we went next door, there wasn't anything there, went next door again. That eight became a seven. So 80 went down to 70,000. We took the 10 here, but that didn't help us over here, so we crossed it out again, made it a 9,000, took one of those thousands over here. So 1,000 minus 200, or 10 minus two, is eight, nine, or 9,000, minus nine, or 9,000, nine minus nine, zero, and seven minus two is five. Whew, good work. That's it for the examples. Good luck with this section.